It is February 2019, and this is the Alter Aeon Monthly Update audio presentation. I am the often emulated but never duplicated Shadowfax, and it doesn't hurt a bit. In these presentations, we keep you abreast of recent happenings within the game of Alter Aeon, and what I, my colleagues Drock and Morpheus, and our dear leader Denton have planned for the future. I apologize for the tardiness of this month's update. We had a round of illnesses affect the Fax family recently, and an ice storm took down our internet for a while. Last month, Tanthus ran an event to celebrate Alter Aeon's 24th anniversary. It is our sincere hope that everyone who was able to participate had a good time. Our next worldwide event will be in March. In January, we saw the following additions to the code. A level 26 druid skill, Wickercraft so you can finally do something with all those bundles of sticks you keep gathering. A level 38 druid skill, Wicker Effigy, for a bit of voodoo flavor. A level 38 warrior skill, Indomitable Will, which allows warriors to break free from immobilizing effects such as entangling roots and prison spells. The reorganizing of warrior weapon improvement skills, which places Hone Weapon at level 16. A level 38 Necromancer spell, Coffin, for weaponizing prison spells. A level 38 Necromancer skill, Infernal Visage, turns you into a romping, stomping demon creature. And additional options to consult demon to help find objects for jobs or change alignment. You can now specify a direction when scanning. Carry containers can now be emptied into other carry containers or onto tables. A rune command was added for looking up rune words, and the preservation spell now works on harvested bones and skins. Upcoming February additions to the code will include the option to split spell comps, herbs, and most other splittable items into specific amounts, small tweaks to metallurgy for more variety in jewelry stats, changes to the soul steel spell to make it easier to use, and more fair in groups. Additional level 38 abilities, probably for the mage class next. And much, much more in the building department. Prior to this update, Morpheus and the Dream Team released Cliffside Island, a new Giannasi island that is a level 43 group 4 zone. Drock also released the Ishi Province, a level 41 zone for Saboria. Morpheus' team is working on several solo level 43 areas for the Nightmare Plane that they hope to release for Halloween. They are also working on quest cleanup on Cordana and Arceus, and hopefully sometime this month will bring Dragontooth into the quest loop from Fort Ironcliff. Drock is currently building the Tomb of Shenlong, another level 41 zone. This special area, like the Sunken Temple of Magar on the mainland, is an auto-level zone meaning it will increase in difficulty and depending on the size and level of a group that enters it. Using kanji runestones and the tomb's built-in past stones, players will be able to recover their progress into its depths even if their instance times out. The tomb should be released by mid-February. After an extended sabbatical, Brock has returned. Malakaliki Maka, everybody! My name is Brack, and in Hawaiian that means fish food! He is currently engaged in bringing some of the more ancient zones of the mud up to date. The Zulu Kingdom is being given a facelift, and players may start to notice changes. The shrines, mines, and city have a fresh layout, and the labyrinth leading to the Golden Dragon has been redesigned to eliminate confusing loopbacks that were causing incompatibility issues with the system mapper. Be warned. Some maps in the tunnels are now trapped, and players who take a wrong turn may discover that part of the ceiling collapses on top of them. In other news, the city of Atlantis now has a new source over a Chalcum. Players can accept the job from Bryson for more details. Brack also reports that he has created some new articles for the wiki this month, including one on this year's anniversary event, with more coming down the pipeline heavily focused on crafting and the recently added skills. If you would like to become an editor, you can mudmail Zera, spelled X-E-R-A, and he can help you get started and add you to the wiki channel. Having written a number of pages for the wiki myself, I can attest that the wiki suite is easy to use, and the library of templates make creating new articles a breeze. Brack has also joined the team working on the Mush Z code base and has some exciting new features planned. 
That concludes this monthly update. Archives and resources for our audio updates can be found at www.lawful-evil.org slash videos. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel for more presentations like this one, or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or Tumblr. We invite you and your friends to come play this month on Alter Aeon, where every day is an adventure. Thanks for listening, and happy mudding, everybody. AlterAeon.com. That's A-L-T-E-R-A-E-O-N.com. <laughs>